Fuck it is, man. Pale Bellamy in this bitch, you heard me. You mad enough. Real quick, bro. Real quick. All right, so in spite of people thinking that I got hate for Tay Rock, which I don't, by the way, I want to take a second to break down the history of rock pertaining to Baltimore. You feel me? Like the whole Baltimore scene and like really around the time where he first popped off, where like his career really took off. Because if you ask me, I kind of feel like it was two battles that really propelled him into the URL. Feel me? So we going to go back to like 2009, 2010. Because I was around for a lot of this shit that was going on. You feel me? I met Rock on multiple occasions. Talked to him hella times in person, online. You feel me? Like, Rock, a cool nigga. I fuck with Rock. So I really want to break it down. All right. So I'm going to keep it a bang with you. Rock was like the boogeyman back in the day, bro. And I'm talking about in Baltimore. This nigga was really like the boogeyman. Niggas was afraid of Rock. Because he had a heavy reputation when it came to battle rap. Like, niggas knew Rock got busy. They seen the DVDs. You feel me? They seen this nigga rapping in a barbershop. They seen this nigga rapping in the street. You feel me? They heard about what this nigga did. Like, his name was strong in Baltimore, bro. And niggas really didn't give a fuck if he was from Baltimore or not. Like, niggas ain't really care if he was really from Baltimore. Niggas just knew the nigga was rap. Uh, they, they knew the nigga could rap. They knew that he repped Baltimore. And they respect what he did. You feel me now? Of course, there's, there's always a few niggas out the bunch that's like, that nigga ain't really from the city, man. Fuck him hating and throwing shade. But for the most part, everybody fuck with rock. Like, for the like like the, the people that I know, the majority of the people that I know, especially in pit fights and Baltimore battles, like, they fuck with this nigga rock. You feel me? And like I said, niggas ain't like niggas wanted to battle him. But then they didn't want to battle him. Like, they wanted to battle him because they wanted to get their name up. The nigga was popular, you feel me? They was trying to get the views. But then niggas didn't want to battle him because they didn't want to get embarrassed, bro. They know this nigga get busy. Now, the battle that I got on the screen right now, this is uh, Tay Rock battling the nigga Ronnie G. Ronnie G, he was, I, I fuck with Ronnie G. Ronnie G was a, uh, he was an unorthodox battle rapper, you feel me? He was very unique. He had, like, his own style. He was funny as shit. You feel me? He's charismatic. Like, he rapped fast. Like, Ronnie G was cool. You hear me? Um, 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 to the loose set this up. Now, let me, let me explain something to y'all about Baltimore Battles. But at the time, Baltimore Battles was the biggest battle rap league in the city, bro. Like, nobody was getting views like Baltimore Battles, bro. I'm talking about 50,000 views, 60,000 views, 100,000 views. Damn near half a million, like, bro, Lord Nay, um, Lord Tay, Smurf, um, 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 King Truth, Roland Mook, uh, KS. Like, bro, these niggas was getting views, bro. Spence, yo, these niggas was doing numbers. That's why, like, it was fucked up. When YouTube terminated the Baltimore Battles channel, you feel me for like, I think it was some copyright shit like this. And this was like in the early days of YouTube. We'll be talking about like 2010, like 2009, 2010. Now, he battled Ronnie G, fucked him up. Shout out to Ronnie G, but I'm going to keep it a being with you. He fucked him up. Watch this battle when y'all get a chance, bro. You feel me? This is only battle on Baltimore Battles. No, I'm lying. He battled Lord Nay. He battled Lord Nay. Now, this was this was a different Lord Nay. This ain't the Lord Nay y'all know. The, the Lord Day of today, like, he really focuses on pain, like, spitting that pain. He still punch, but you feel me? He's aggressive, you feel me? Like, the nigga, but he be spitting that pain, you feel me? Like, like to me, he's like, 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 uh, he's like, he's like the raw wave of battle rap. You feel me? He gonna give you that shit you can feel. But back then, Lord Nay was a puncher. You hear me? I'm talking about every bar like this nigga was a puncher and like Lord Nay was another nigga that was not to be played with you hear me his name was ringing in Baltimore like niggas knew about Lord Nay that's why they got matched up that's why they put that's why uh to the loop put Lord Nay and Tay Rock against each other it's a debatable battle y'all gotta watch that one too but boom so he did that battle I was here I was actually at this event I hollered at him you feel me surprisingly he knew who I was you feel me? Cause I used to, uh, I used to blog. I was like a, a, a local blogger back in the day. I would talk about Baltimore battles. I would talk about pit fights. I would talk about niggas in the city. You feel me? And like, 
I went to this event and I'm and, and niggas like, oh, this nigga, like, you feel me? Cause I was I used to always like kick shit on camera. I used to always, you feel me, blog and shit like that. So I was it was it was surprising that he knew who I was. You feel me? Like call me by my name and all that. Cat low. You feel me? All right, so boom, pit fights. Now, at pit fights, matter of fact, before we even talk about the battle, let's talk about pit fights. Pit fights been around is, yo, I feel like uh, pit fights is the oldest league in the DMV, bro. Like, seriously, like, niggas don't really, like, niggas know about pit fights, but they don't really know the true history of pit fights, bro. A lot of people, a lot of established battle rappers, some of them started in pit fights, and a lot of them battled at pit fights. Prep, his career started in the pit. Danger Zone, his career started in the pit. Lord Nate, career kind of, his, his career started in Bar at Baltimore Battles, but damn near all his battles got deleted, you feel me? And then, like, when Baltimore Battles stopped, you know, doing battles, he came to the pit and he was fucking shit up in the pit. He got a lot of classic battles in the pit. So you could kind of say Lil Nate, you feel me, started in the pit too. Um, trying to think of some more uh, famous battle rappers. What niggas that, that's popping right now? Uh, murder. Murder started in the pit and is still in the pit. Like, and other, I'm going to give you some other names, right? Briz, Briz Rothstein battled in the pit in like 2013. Uh, uh, PT, he was in, he was uh, one of those niggas over at Grime Time, at, at Grind Time, battled in the pit. J Law uh, battled in the pit. He was from the pit. Uh, who, who we doing? Uh, Daylight battled in the pit. Lot of Zay battled in the pit. Snake Eyes battled in the pit. Like, bro, it's a lot of it's a lot of names that battled in the pit. The pit been around for a long time. You feel me? Shout out to Shaka. But Tay Rock battled uh Tay Rock battled PG Skillet. They bet like a thousand dollars. You feel me? It was it was a very controversial battle. It was a lot of tension. You feel me? Like for real. Like niggas about to fight in the building. Like it was a lot of testosterone in that bitch. You feel me? Yeah. But Tay Rock, this is the battle where people uh uh, uh reference in other battles. You feel me? Because this is the infamous throwing up. <laughs> this, 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 this is the the uh the, the battle where he infamously threw up in you hear me <laughs> but the crazy thing is he threw up and still won that's the crazy part <laughs> how do you throw up in a battle and still win bro rock was deadly back then bro like he's still nice he's like you feel me but bro this nigga was deadly Deadly, he was a dangerous nigga back then. You feel me? Rock wasn't nothing to play with, but he stopped coming to the pit. You feel me? If I'm not mistaken, I'm not gonna really get all into it. You feel me? But I could give y'all a quick synopsis. If I'm not mistaken, I think he stopped coming to the pit because of the uh the fight. So Spence battled Spence Spence battled the nigga J Mac. J Mac was a part of Cave Gang. And yes, Cave Gang has been around for a while. It didn't Cave Cave Gang didn't come about during the times of Rock being in the URL. They used to call themselves cavemen back then. You feel me? Then when he got with the URL, I, I guess the, the terminology changed and it became Cave Gang. But nonetheless, that whole Cave Gang shit been around. So it was a nigga named J Mac. He was a part of Cave Gang. And he was a uh, he was going battle. No, he battled Spitz on Blood on the Shoes. This was an event before, you know, the battle I'm talking about. And he, like, Spitz fucked him up. He fucked. <laughs> he made Cave Gang look bad, bro. He fucked him up. So, a couple months passed, and I think maybe a year. But they kept talking about this rematch, this rematch. So, boom. He, Spitz granted him the rematch. They did the rematch. Now, in this battle, I'm going to keep it a bean with you. I had J Mac winning convincingly, like, like he, like I can't say he fucked Spence up, but he, he did work. <laughs> you hear me? He definitely did work, bro, and he won the battle. But here's here's the here's the thing. So, in the pit, every battle was judged. You had five judges. You hear me? So this, of course, this battle was judged. 
I don't know if all five of the judges gave it to Spence. Like, I don't know. Like, it, it was weird. I was also there for this battle. I was in the building, you feel me? So I'm, I'm giving y'all firsthand experience, you feel me? I, don't, I, I think it was like three out of three out of five. They gave the battle to J-Mac. I don't know why. I, 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 it kind of felt like some bias shit. Like, he got, like, it was like home bias. Because he, I'm keeping it big, but he didn't win. Like, Spence didn't win. He won the first one, but the rematch, he lost. But niggas still gave it to him. So when the last judge gave it to Spence, the nigga Yaga, Yaga was a part of Cave Gang too. You feel me? These, these, you feel me? All county niggas. You feel me? But, no, but uh, Burke Bucks play in the city. Like, I seen Burke Bucks a hella times in the city, and they know hella people in Baltimore. So I'm not just, you feel me? Rock and Bucks know hella niggas in Baltimore. And I seen, I never seen Tay Rock out in the mix, but I definitely seen Bucks hella times. You feel me? Up the hill. What we call up the hill. You feel me? Uh, over east. But anyways, back to what I was saying. So, he had all his mans with him, the whole cave gang. So, Yaga through the ice, hit Spence in the face. It was a wrap from there. Yaga, I mean, Spence snap, boom, plucked the shit out of Yaga, beat the shit out of Yaga, and now it's just mayhem. It's mayhem. That's all I was saying. I need to go, that's, we ain't going to get into no more details, because I don't, you feel me, I don't want niggas to try to make it seem like I'm throwing shade at the end of the video, and I found a way to hit on Tay Rock. Listen, man, if you know, you know. That's all I'm going to say. A, a fucking fight broke out, and Yaga got his ass whipped. And that's all I'm going to say. That's it. But, yeah, so I think that was the situation, you feel me, that, that prompt Tay Rock to stop coming to the pit. And then it was like a whole issue between, not an issue, but niggas felt a certain type of way towards rock. Because it's like, okay, you stop battling at the pit, you rapping Baltimore City, now you blowing up, you feel me? And it's like, you ain't reaching back to help niggas. You feel me? Like, you ain't you can't even shout pit fights out. You feel me? Like, yeah, you did numbers on, on the pit. You feel me? Like, this was an established league. You got to think, bro, this was, I want you to think about this, bro. This was back during the days. This was back during the days where there wasn't a lot of leagues, bro. Like, let's keep it a being. There wasn't a lot of leagues back then. I could probably think of five leagues, pit fights, uh, Block City. Um, um, see, pit fights, Block City. Grind time was done. Uh, the URL. That's the, I think that's it. And maybe the Seven City Sharks. Yeah, maybe the Seven City Sharks. It wasn't no leagues, bro. It was like, it, like now it's oversaturated. Like it's a league in every city, multiple leagues in every city. You feel me? Like you can go to any city and you will find a battle rap league, bro. Is like a million battle rap leagues, but back then, talking about 10 years ago, bro, it wasn't like that. It was only a handful of leagues, bro. You hear me? So, it is what it is. I just wanted to give y'all that quick history on Tay Rock, man. All niggas can stop saying, I don't like this nigga, I made it on him. Feel me? It's bad enough.